Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tutorial Guide. In this video, I will show you how to root any Android device using one click root methods. We have done four Android routing methods, so you can refer it from description. First, we need to enable the developer option. For that, hit on settings and go to about phone and type build number four to five times. So it will unlock the developer option. So click on developer option and enable the USB debugging. It will it it would be the most most important method. So first we need to enable the USB debugging in every mm, method to while routing. So first we need to check um, is my device having root permission or not using root checker. So you can download it from Play Store. So click on root checker and we need to verify click on verify root so i didn't it will showing me i didn't have any root access on my device so download a king root from kingroot.com and uh, install it on your pc and you must have usb drivers installed on your pc so detect your mobile by every tool that you would have to routing So it will be detecting our device and checking the USB debugging. So yeah, right. If everything will be success, it will be showing the permission. It will also check the root permission before. So click on root, and it will start the routing process. So it will take some amount of time, guys, before routing your device. Backup of all of your data using Android backup or other titanium titanium backup. So Wait until to complete the routing process. It will, it will take hardly five to ten minutes alone. So after routing, after routed your device, you can install custom ROMs, and you can customize your device, and you can remove your bloatware, which will be pre-installed with the stock ROM, which killing battery. So you can easily remove the bloatware. So during this process, it will automatically restart your device. So here you can find out my device has been restarted. So every tool will be restart our device, so you don't bother about that. So now I am reconnecting my device, so it will be successfully reconnected. So yeah. Now the routing process has been successfully ended. So let's see, we'll check whether my device is routed or not using the root checker app. So um, here I am having King Root. So it it is the most stable method for all Android devices for routing any Android device. So let's say I have successfully having the root permission. So that's all, guys. If you have any doubt, please feel free in comment section. So if this method will fail on your device, means you can follow my other three methods, which will place in description. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Bye bye. We will see you in the next video.